Hey everyone. So today we have an 18 by 16 canvas. I'm sorry, 8 by 16 canvas. That would have been a lot bigger, huh? <laughs> We're going to do um, just a simple flip and drag on here. Um, I'm going to be using um, one of our new colors, the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Shimmer. Um, also the Deco Art Sterling Silver that comes in the jar. And Lucas Gold Bronze from Jerry's Artorama. I love this color. I shook it a little too hard. It spit at me. <laughs> so I like um, to work on black sometimes. Um, but you have to make sure that you have a color that's not going to get lost in the black. The bronze may lose some of itself into the black. Uh, the silver should be okay, and I need to layer these differently. There, that should work. I am going to um, spray my cup, it's a 5 ounce cup, with the WD-40 silicone spray, just to release the paint. Never spray over your canvas, because that silicone will land in there. And I like to rub it in. You can see I got a couple of little spots because I didn't wait far enough away. I was in a hurry. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the silver. I like to use about an ounce of paint. So each one of these should be about a tablespoon. Less is best. And when you get them in the cup, you'll be like, well, all that gold's going to hit the canvas first. But it won't if you skewer it. So what we want to do is just do a tiny swirl in the cup and try to bring that silver to the top. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. And all that paint will fall down to the bottom because we sprayed it with the WD-40. I will poke a hole just to release the suction. When you slap a cup of paint on top of paint, it will stick. And it likes to suck itself down to the canvas. So after you poke that hole, wiggle your cup and make sure you're floating on top of the paint. And I always like to go back in and redrag because I have one spot right in here that's pretty dark where I grabbed the black paint. Let me just torch it and see if that's going to come up. Yeah, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. But I am a little bare here, so I need to touch these edges. And I'm going to tilt. Sometimes going back in, you'll end up muddying up your colors, so try to avoid that as much as possible. So what I'm doing right now is just rocking the paint to fill in those two spots, and we'll be bringing all of that back. but now we don't have any canvas showing, so we're good. Lots of pretty silver there. The bronze is there. So when you stretch, you're actually pushing some of your black base off and also opening up the color. Once I get it where I want it, I'll stop. Look at that spot right there where the gold sealed up. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to just bring it this way a little bit. This is kind of neat here, but I'm going to blow that out. Not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Might blow that back in. <laughs> a little too far. I like to torch after I move it with the black because the black likes to eat color. So I like to see um, if there's anything underneath it. Like in this spot here, we have that turquoise and it is coming up very slowly. But we can help that along with the airbrush. So this is my master airbrush that I have in my Amazon shop. Um, it blows 25 PSI. 
won't uh, blow your paint off the canvas. And when I do these edges, I just work on the very edge of the paint line. I um, don't go in and push paint out. I just like to push what I have. Unless I'm correcting something, then I will go in. But that takes practice. It's not something you want to get right in and start doing because you won't be happy with your um, results. It'll be too muddy. So just practice and practice until you can learn to do the edge and get the look that you want. So I am pushing some of that silver out because of course the black will eat it. And it should um, sell out pretty. So I'm hoping when I push this out I can correct this one here. I love working with my airbrush. There's so many things that you can do with this little guy. I think I'm happy with that side. I'm going to flip it around and as it settles that black's going to come up through that and you'll see the lacing here shortly. It's much different than working on white paint, that's for sure. I'm going to pull it back just a little bit more because i got a glare right where I'm going. I'm going to skip this for a minute. I kind of like it the way it is. And I'm going to go ahead and push this out here. One moment, please. Sorry about that. Mr. Welch was calling. <laughs> have to grab those phone calls because you never know what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and push this over the edge. Alright, I'm absolutely loving everything I have so far, including this spot, but I know that's going to eat that. <clears throat> right here, I want to mess with this just a little bit. It's just a little too much black. I don't have any way to do it that way, so I'm going to have to take a little bit of this. And move that out. a little better and it brought out some silver which is kind of cool um, let me torch it and see what happens I'm definitely loving all this silver and it has some gold in it a lot of movement in this painting she just flowing all over. It's very dark in this spot though. This is when I start messing. So then you might end up with a glob. Let's torch that and see if anything comes up. Not yet. Not yet. There, I gotta get rid of that glob. <laughs> Kinda looks like we have a little swirl in there. Still cool. I'm gonna leave it. I'm good. 
So subscribe if you haven't yet and click on that bell for notifications. Uh, click like and share and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, if you have any questions about the airbrush, you can leave them in the comments as well. I hope I can answer them for you. Let's start on this end. See that gold patch? I just didn't want to touch that. It's just too pretty. But it's very pretty. It's going to dry gorgeous with that gold and that silver. Um, and also, the uh, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise is a shimmer. So we'll have a little bit from that as well. But that's it for that one, guys. Check out all the links below. The paint mixing videos for the base coat and for what we put in our bottles is in the description below. Shop with us on Amazon for the airbrush, our trays, our torches, everything's there that you need to pour paint. And to um, also I have some resin supplies in there now. Uh, the stone coat code is below for the art coat or you can get it on Amazon. I'm, uh, I have it in both places. And um, our P.O. box is below if you want to send a gadget for Ellen to pour with on Monday nights. Join us every Monday night live at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. We do all these paintings live and you can ask questions. Um, also join the Paraj Posse on Facebook. And also check out my Christina Welch art page on Facebook as well. And um, we also have these paints for sale. Make sure you check that out in the group or email me. And if you want to sponsor the channel so that we can buy more supplies, that PayPal link is below as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye now.